Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install and use Ultrabar. This is a simple plugin that allows you to create boss bars, titles, and action bars. It supports World Guard regions, placeholder API, and works on many events such as on command, on join, and on dev. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section. Go over to the spigot tab and type in ultrabar. Install the version that is compatible with your server and then restart. Alternatively, you can download it from the plugin page and upload it to your plugins folder manually. By default, when I join the server, I get everything thrown in my face, a boss bar, a title and an action bar. It will also cycle through different boss bars at the top as you can see. Of course, you can go into the config and disable or enable any of these. So let's go and locate the config in the plugins folder over here. And here you can change a bunch of options. At the top is the onjoin event. You can customize all of these options here. I'm only going to have a title show when I join the server and the rest I will disable. On dev is the next option below. This means you can display these when a player dies. If you're unsure about some of these options, you can go and check out the wiki which I'll link in the description. So let's go and find out what the boss bar colors are and what the styles are. And as you can see, you just navigate on the right hand side here. So let's try out the style 12 and change the color to red. The time here I can change to 20 seconds and the health I will leave at one. One health means it's full and 0.5 means it's half. You can use any decimal in between. Let's go and see the changes in game. I can use the slash ultra bar reload command to reload the plugin instead of restarting the server every time. And as you can see, when I join the server after reloading the plugin, you can now see only the title on join and on def, you can see the new boss bar and the action bar, which we have enabled. Next in the config is the on command events. So whenever I run a specific command, it will show what is specified here. I'm going to set this up as a help command. It's up to you what command you want to do and what you want it to show. The time under the title part is shown in ticks. So every 20 ticks, it's going to be one second. I'm going to have two seconds here. Make sure that you format everything correctly, otherwise it will not work. Let's save this and go check it out in game. As you can see, every time I type in slash help, it shows all the things that I've specified in the config. Again, you can do this for any of the commands that you have on your server. Another thing I want to mention is that this plugin has a slash bar command, which you can use to create boss bar messages in game. So if I type in this slash boss bar command, it will show me the message with a boss bar. If you want to know more parameters and what you can include in this command, go to the wiki page and you can find that there. Going back to the config, You've probably already seen the boss bar messages cycle through each of the message. You can enable or disable them here, as well as toggle the whitelist and add specific worlds here. This is very simple to set up, just follow the format here and put in your messages. A similar thing can also be done with the titles and the action bars. Again, just follow the format and if you don't understand something, just refer to the plugin page wiki. And finally, at the bottom, you have the world guard region settings which are all self-explanatory. If you want to customize these settings, make sure that you have WildGuard installed. And apart from that, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you're having any issues with anything, contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.